I could barely do the weather because I'm so excited. We have got John and Brian here. They're from Pacific Pug Rescue, and they don't only have adorable pugs, but they also have costumes on. So, John, we've got who here? This is Pearl, and she is Dorothy today. <laughs> so cute, and this is Olive. This is sweet Olive. She's our 13-year-old sassy senior, um, and she is forever in our care, and so she is our little angel today. She is such an angel, and she's got her butterfly wings on. Uh, so, Olive is not adoptable but Pearl is. But Pearl is, yeah. yes, yes. So tell me a little bit about Pearl, John. I know Pearl's been living with you. Yeah, we've been fostering Pearl for about four weeks now. Uh, she came in, she's just a ball of energy and really inquisitive, yeah. and we're excited to get her ready for her forever home. Yes, and and John, I followed him on Facebook. He friended me a couple years back, I think. Yeah. And so I see all of the adorable pictures. It sounds like you've been a pug person maybe your whole life. Whole life pug yeah. person. Yeah. yeah, what is it about the breed that you love so much? They are mini people, mm -hmm. basically. <laughs> and you know, I've had a lot of different dogs growing up, but the pugs are just an amazing little creature. Yeah. Hard yeah. to describe. Yeah, I know. I've had them too. A pug saved my grandma's life, I think I told you. Yeah. I got her a pug after my grandpa passed. And, you know, they've got such great personality. So, Brian, you're in charge of Pacific Pug Rescue, right? I, yes, I am. Yes, I've been the president for about a year now. A yes. huge undertaking, I'm sure. It, very much so, yes. How many pugs do you have available right now? Um, right now, I have about 12 pugs who are available. We have 18 in the system right now. Okay. Um, last year, we rescued 62 pugs, spending an average of $868 on each of those to get those um, cleared medically to be adopted. Wow. We've already matched that number this year. More than half of those are seniors. Wow. Yes. And even if they're seniors, they're great pets. So uh, let's talk really quickly. If people want to get in touch with you about Pearl or about another dog, how do they do that? Uh, they can visit our website. It's uh, PacificPugRescue.org. Um, all of our available pugs are listed there. Um, and they can just uh, click on the email, send us a quick email, give us a quick call. Uh, we also have monthly adop adoption outreaches. Um, and we do have a nice little fundraiser adoption outreach coming That's up right. this Saturday. Saturday. We do, and it's <laughs> appropriately called Pugaween. So there'll be a lot of little puggies all dressed up. There huh? are going to be about a hundred puggies oh um, dressed gosh. up because no no pug crazy pug event with crazy pug people would be complete <laughs> without a costume <laughs> contest. We have celebrity judges, um, both human and canine. Yeah. Um, we're going to have a professional photographer there with a photo booth, lots of food and beverage, of course. Okay. Um, and just the, the the costume contest is sort of the uh, the piece de resistance. Um, we have a silent auction as well as a nice little raffle. Great. As well. So we had all the information up there on your screen. I imagine, can they go to your website too if they need oh more? Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, yes. so Pacific Pug Rescue is their name if you want more information about the event on Saturday night. Jenny, I don't know why we weren't asked to be hosts, I mean, or um, judges. I know. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's right? a tough job. It's a <laughs> tough job. Not anyone can do it. Yeah, well, I'm not biased or anything, but pugs are like the best dogs they ever. Are. Yes, they, they are. really are.